All right. We're going to talk about central angles to a circle. They are super easy. I'm going to flip over here. Like I said, flip over to the back side of your notes so you can write a couple definitions down. Once you write them down, once you learn them, they're really easy, just super quick. So central angles. Our angles where the vertex is at the center of the circle. <clears throat> and I promise it's really easy, okay? So just trust me, your homework, quiz, whatever, will not take you very long at all. <clears throat> so we're going to have a circle. And you always have the center of the circle. That's how it's named. So if they say circle C, it's always named by the center. A central angle has its point or its vertex on the center of the circle. So that would be a central angle. Remember that a circle is 360 degrees. I told you somebody was good. Circle is 360 degrees. You already knew that. And then what's important for today? That's not your central angle. equals your arc. Okay, so I'll tell you what that means. I'm going to draw a bigger circle just so I can write on it. You can write on your smaller circle. I just want you to be able to see. So if I have a circle, the center, and I have an angle like this, this part is the arc. You know that this is the angle. And then those two are equal. So central angle equals the arc, and it's going to be a measure. We're going to talk about measure and length. Sorry, let me minimize this. We're going to talk about measure and length eventually. How bright this is. Y'all should have yelled at me. It's from where we were in Tulsa's room yesterday. All right, so the central angle equals the arc measure. They're both going to be degrees, okay? When we talk about arc length later on, arc length, we'll be talking about like inches, centimeters, stuff like that. So measure is degrees. Uh, length is any kind of length unit that you've had before, okay? So that's it. That's the only ones that I wanted to say. This is the important one for today. And knowing that a circle is 360. So we're going to go back to our notes. <clears throat> and again, the first ones are going to be super simple. We're trying to find this angle. It equals the arc. So it's just going to be 75 degrees. <laughs> yes, it is that simple. Okay, I told you today was going to be easy, right? All right. So the next one. What's your arc measure? 90 degrees. That's it. So it's whatever your arc is that makes up that angle. If you have to, here's your angle and then make your arc. So whatever your slice of pizza is, whatever your crust degree is. All right. So the next one is this angle. So how much is the degrees? That's simple. The next one is this piece. So what's your angle degree? Anything hard yet? Yeah, same way. Perfect. You guys are doing great. Yeah. Guys and girls, please remember class starts at 840. 840. All right. 
Number five, we're looking for this angle. What's the arc? That is it. Now, when you get to ones that label it like this, this VQS, it says M stands for measure of angle VQS. Okay, you probably did a little bit of this in uh, math too. You're going to go in order, follow it. Q is going to be your vertex. <clears throat> so V to Q to S. Now, the reason I'm going to highlight it for you is because we know it's this big arc right here. Well, it's actually made up of two. So what do you think we should do? Absolutely just add them. Okay. So we're going to add 62 plus 50. And that gives us 112. <coughs> Any questions? I do not need to see your addition problem. Like you don't have to write your work on there. I know you can do that in your head. That's just for your notes reference. Any questions? Y'all, it literally doesn't get much harder than that. Your next one, follow it around. K to F to H. So what are we going to do to find this one? 49 plus 80 is? 129. That's it. On the next one, F to D to H. We're going to add 69 plus 51. What do we get? 120. Perfect. Any questions? All right. A to F to E. Now, this one's a little different. Why is this one different? Okay. So, you need to think back. This is where your math two knowledge should come in because I don't teach this, but you should have learned it in math two. And you did. Do you guys remember doing stuff like this? You guys remember doing that? Okay. So we're talking about these two angles right here. Remember, if they make an X, they make equal angles. They're called vertical angles. So anytime that you have diameters, they're going to be a point of reference. Okay. Your diameters are going to be points of reference. What that tells you is that this angle and this angle are exactly the same. Does that make sense? You already knew that from math too. So how do I find this angle? I find this one instead. How do I find this one? Add 66 and 49. What is 66 plus 49? Say it again. Louder, I'm sorry. Is it? Sorry. I don't know what I'm writing. Any questions? All right. So your next one, E, C, H, is all of these. So we just add all those up. And again, y'all, you get calculators the whole time. So if you're not being able to do this in your head, that's fine. Put them in your calculator. And we get 160. Any questions? So this one is this, examples like this are going to come out a lot. Remember, if you see a diameter, use it as a point of reference. I'm going to tell you that a lot throughout this little unit that we have right here. All right, so look at your next one. The only difference is we're going to solve an equation. We're going to solve an equation. We have to solve for X. If you notice, every measure is given on the outside of the circle, right? How much is a full circle? 360. So what we're going to do is add these up. This will be the last time that I really write the equation. And set it equal to 360. All right. So what I typically do is just go around the circle and see, hey, there's one X. And then in my calculator, I add all the rest. So 40 plus 59 plus 40 plus 110 plus 121 gives me 370. And now we're just solving that equation because it asks you to solve for X. Make sure. Guys, again, our class starts at, at 840. Okay, if you're gonna keep being late, I'm just gonna let you watch the recordings. 
370, subtract it. And we get negative 10. It is okay to get a negative number for your answer because we're not talking about an actual measure. Because if we plug this in, we're gonna get 30. Does everybody understand that? So it's not giving us a negative measure, it's just giving us a negative value, okay? So watch what they ask for as well. Sometimes they'll say solve for X and sometimes they'll ask you about this specific angle or another one, all right? So solve your equation. We have all the measures on this one to solve for X. So like I told you, I go around and I look and there's 11 X's, that's the only X I have. I'm going to start with that measure and go all the way around. So I have a negative 2 plus 70 plus 70 plus 80 plus 65, which gives me a positive 283 for the full circle 360. How do I solve this? Subtract 283. I get 77. What do I do now? Divide by 11, what do I get for X? Seven. That's it. All right. I'm gonna drop down to number 14 and then I'll go back to 13. We'll get 14. What am I gonna do on this one? Add them all up, right? So I have one X. I have 39 plus 33 plus 75 plus 30 plus 90, which gives me a positive 266. You, you did 74, not 75. Oh, thank you. So 267. There you go. <laughs> 267. And then do what? Subtract the 267. Thank you for catching that before I got all the way done. I appreciate that. 267 gives us 90, not 93 degrees. Don't put a degree. Just gives us 93. Oh, no, no, no. I did a lot more than that. I don't know if this calculator is not, I don't know. This is not right. It's not 267. 39, 33, 75. I only had 30 in there. I guess it did pick up the one when I pushed it. Gives us 367. Which gives us a negative seven. Sorry, y'all. Happy Friday, right? I apologize. Okay. All right, so what's different about 13? It's missing numbers, but what did I tell you to always look for? Hmm? You guys see this specific diameter right here? What do diameters do? Cut the circle in half, right? So if a full circle is 360, what's a half a circle? 180, so we don't even have to look at this half of the circle, we don't care about it. We're only looking at this half because we have all the measures on this half. Does everybody see that? So we're gonna take those measures, X plus 56 plus 65 plus 64, and they only equal half a circle, so that's 180. So 56 plus 65 plus 64 is 185, and then solve it by subtracting 185 and we get x equals negative five. So again, diameters are points of reference. Now there is another diameter on there, if you guys look here, but that's not helping you. Does everybody understand that? So just use the one that'll help you. All right, flip it over. Again, I have two diameters on here. Which one is going to help me? The one that's vertical straight up and down or the one that's diagonal? Yeah, the diagonal one because that splits it into two halves and it makes a full labeled half circle. Okay, 
So we're going to take 26x and 50 and set it equal to 180. We're going to subtract 50. We get 26x equals 130. Divide by 26 if you're not sure. Again, use your calculator. It's fine. And we get 5. I don't mind you using that at all. All right. So the very first one, you were just trying to measure. So the second one, you were solving for x. This third one, you're going to solve for x. But then it says what? Find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. So you're going to find x and then plug it back in. So it's just one more extra step. All right. So if we look at this one, we are trying to find, sorry, y'all, I didn't mean to hit that. We are trying to find P U T. So we need to know how much 10 X is. I have all of my measures. So I'm just going to add them, set them to 360. And then when I solve for X, I'm going to plug X in. So on this first one, I have, and again, I can do this in my head, but I'm telling you 10 plus 10 plus 12 X's, which gives me 32 X's. And then I have 150 minus 5 plus 55. 150 minus 5 plus 55 is 200. And that was the full circle, so 360. You're going to subtract 200, so I get 32x equals 160. If you need to use your calculator, and we get that x equals 5. I shouldn't have to show you that. If you need it, let me know, and I will. But it doesn't ask me what x is. It asks me what angle PUT is, which is this 10x. So angle PUT is 10x, or 10 times 5, which is 50. And that would be a degree. Don't worry about those. It's multiple choice. Okay, It's multiple choice, so the degree is going to be up there. Go to number 19. 19. It's the same exact thing. How do I know it's the same thing? It's got all the measures on the outside. 17 and 18 don't have all the measures, so we're going to have to do something different. Okay. So this one has all the measures, so we're going to add them up. I'm going to start with my x's. I have a negative 5 and a negative 8x, which makes a negative 13x. And then I'm going to start at the top and move around with my numbers 15 minus 3 plus 50, plus 110, plus 45, which gives me a positive 217. We had all the measures, so we'll set it equal to 360. We're going to subtract 217. We get negative 13x equals 143. We're going to divide by negative 13. And we get negative 11. But it did not ask for X. It asked for F, E, G. So that's that 5X, negative 5X plus 15. So angle F, E, G was negative 5X plus 15. We found that X was negative 11. You can put that in your calculator. And we get 70. All right. So again, think about it when you do your quiz. How do you know to do it this way? Or set it equal to 3CC? You have everything. If you look at the other two, if I jump back up here, and I'm barely getting it on there. If we look at this one up here, we see that we only have two measures. So we automatically have to do it different. We're not using the whole circle. So that, that tells me look for a diameter. Look for a diameter or look for an X where they're equal. Okay. So do we see a diameter that cuts those two off? Mm -hmm. Right here, right? Do I see that? So we're not using this side. 
We don't care about that side at all. It doesn't have anything that helps us. So we're going to add these up. 20x plus 4x is 24x plus 12. But this time it's equal to 180 because we're only doing half the circle. We're going to subtract our 12. We get 24x equals 168. We're going to divide by 24. And we get 7. But remember, we're not looking for 7. We're looking for F, A, B. So that's this one right here. So we're looking for 20X. Angle F, A, B equals 20X. Our X was seven. So it's gonna be 140 degrees. All right, so listen carefully. When you get to the next one, automatically know I'm not doing 360. Why am I not doing 360? I don't have all the measures. So then I look for diameters. I look at this first diameter right here. Do I have all the measures? No, do I have them on this side? No. Do I have all the measures for this diameter? How about this diameter? No, however, they still work, okay? They're still gonna work. For both diameters, remember these two sides are equal. So I don't need these at all. Does everybody see that? All right, so again, go through your diameters. There's a reason that they're there. It could be that they cut the circle in half and you have all three measures like we did on the other one, or it makes this X and the two sides are equal. So the way we set this up, pay attention carefully. These two are equal. So 121 is equal to the other side added together. They are equal. There is no 180, there is no 360. We didn't use the diameter for the 180 to cut it in half. We didn't use the full circle. So set them equal. Add them up. We have 121 minus 137 is negative 16. We divide by negative two and we get X equals negative eight. They didn't ask for X. They asked it for, they asked it. They asked for TQU. So we follow it around TQU and they're looking for X plus 64. What is negative eight plus 64? 56. Look at number 20. Do we have the full circle? So that one is gonna be what? 360. So if we have the full circle, it's 360. Add all our X's up. We have 20 plus four plus six, which gives us 30 X. Go around, I'm gonna start with the 15. There's nothing here. 53, 54, and a negative two, which gives us 120. We have the full circle, so it's gonna equal 360. We're gonna subtract 360 minus 120 is 240. We're gonna divide by 30, and we're gonna get eight. We didn't look for X, we're looking for LHM. Here's LHM. 4X minus 2. We're going to do 4 times 8, which is 32, minus 2 is 30 degrees. Sorry. Any questions? Is everybody good? All right, anything super hard? Just watch these. These are the ones that are the hardest right now, like people won't see them. So think about that. Do I have all the outside? That's 360. 
Is there a way I can cut it in half? That would be 180. And then if there's no way to do either of those, look for the X. That's how you're going to know. Got it? All right. I'm going to stop sharing, stop recording.